He was born the grandson of slaves, yet Howard Thurman would become one of the most celebrated religious figures of the 20th century. A spiritual mentor to Martin Luther King Jr. Whether we want it that way or not, we all tied together. And a moral anchor for the civil rights movement. Martin Luther King Jr. would quote Howard Thurman on many, many occasions. I think Howard Thurman, for many leaders in that movement, King included, played the role of pastor. In the 1930s, after an historic meeting with Mahatma Gandhi, Thurman becomes one of the early voices for nonviolent resistance for a people who over centuries experienced unimaginable violence. He helped to establish the philosophical framework of how to struggle. He saw himself as a spiritual activist because he was fundamentally a teacher. He had this combination of, of being kind and being strong, and I think that's a very rare combination. While Sunday morning was often considered the most segregated hour in the week, Thurman helped pioneer a church where people of different races and religions could worship together. He's suspicious of denomination and dogma and creed. He would never identify himself as a theologian because he thought theologians boxed God. And he was called a mystic because he believed religious experience was best explored within. Howard Thurman was actually practicing contemplative spirituality before we actually started calling it contemplative spirituality. At his heart, he was a, a nature mystic. Thurman is talking to trees, trees. <laughs> Yet this mystic was also an outspoken critic of Christianity for its part in the nation's deep racial divides. And he countered with a shocking new work that offered a revolutionary new way of understanding the life of Jesus Christ and how it speaks directly to the oppressed and disinherited. I carry the book with me, Jesus and the Disinherited, every day. And he gives an Africanity to the interpretation of Jesus. He provided a, a spiritual perspective that was empowering. There were people encountering Thurman's work and being shaken at their core. I would have to find out what was the word that the religion of Jesus had to say to the man with his back against the wall.